Hello? Looks like I got here just in time. Never try to remove a hot light bulb with the power still on. Wow, CFL bulbs. You want to change the old traditional bulbs with compact fluorescent light bulbs. CFL bulbs are great bulbs because they save on greenhouse emission gases and cost a lot less than other bulbs. Let me tell you a safe way to remove any kind of light bulb from a light socket. Turn off the light and let it cool for at least five minutes. Using a glove or a kitchen towel, gently turn the bulb counterclockwise. Be careful, do not squeeze it too tight. If changing the bulb at night, turn on another light or a flashlight to help you see better. Whoops, don't worry. I know how to dispose of it properly. If you break one, it releases small amounts of mercury. So first of all, make sure the room is well ventilated and the air conditioning is off. This will help lower mercury levels. Use stiff paper to pick up the broken pieces of glass and then sticky tape such as duct tape to pick up any remaining small glass fragments and powder. Never clean it up with your bare hands. Do not use a broom or vacuum cleaner because brooming will break the mercury into smaller droplets and then spread them. And vacuuming will put the mercury into the air increasing exposure. If vacuuming is needed, do it only after visible materials are removed and dispose of the vacuum debris in a sealed plastic bag. Dispose of it in a glass jar with a lid or in a sealed plastic bag. You know, these bulbs are really great, but if you're not careful they can cause some problems too. To be safe, don't dispose of these in your regular trash. Many stores provide CFL recycling facilities, or you can even order a recycling pack to mail your broken CFLs at www.prepaidrecycling.com. You can also always contact your local officials to find out where your nearest local recycling center is located. So, as you can see, with a few simple safety precautions, your light bulbs will always shine bright. Life has no reset button, so think safety. For more tips, visit us at www.safetyissues.com. Hello? Looks like I...